Here's a man who would turn down a million dollars for contracts to do Coca-Cola or Pepsi-Cola or things because it wouldn't meet his philosophy, because he cannot betray himself. I think he may be the most well-read and intelligent man I know. He's the jock with a book. I don't know if he's See, Radomir expects 1,000% from all of us, as he gives. If you don't want to learn, please get out. If you want to learn, please come back. If you had any problems, you knew you could go see Radomir, that he would be more than welcome to talk to you. People often come to Radomir for help, usually with their kids or their family. He, you know, he's that kind of guy. He does this for no compensation. What is Radomir? Radomir is a force of nature, but he's something else. He is a samurai. He is a samurai in the, in, in the best sense of the samurai. He can't be bought. He doesn't want his principles tarnished. Everything that I did in my life, <laughs> everything is, 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 is a beautiful story. Okay, I'm ready now. Radomir Kovacevich, world champion judo master. He competed at three Olympic Games, Montreal, Moscow, and Los Angeles. Radomir Kovacevich is one of the rare Europeans who's been admitted and accepted into the highest ranks of Japanese martial arts. But Radomir never measured his success with the numerous medals and trophies he won during his years of competition. I never practiced because of metal. I really loved to compete, to express my knowledge, my ability, my desires. That was a, a motivating force in my life. The experience that I got from the sports, that is in my heart. And I really don't need a medal or uh, any materialistic proof. It may seem strange to find a world judo champion on this quiet street in Manhattan, but Radomir Kovacevic has chosen the path of an educator. He is the chairman of the physical education department at the Dwight School, an innovative school in New York City. We are choking, we are drinking bottle, uh, bottled water. Uh, area are polluted, rivers are polluted, everything is polluted. All of this is a product of education. And by seeing all of this, somehow I would like to change and make us uh, not people uh, who will teach a child how to make a bigger profit or create bigger destruction. Let's touch it, please. Uh, Abe and I went down to see him and we were just amazed. He was one of the biggest human beings I'd ever seen and extremely intimidating. And he uh, took a very uh, bellicose uh, tone with Abe, telling Abe to be quiet, not to speak when adults speak. A things Abe had never heard before, at least from us. I came to realize after a while that this big, gruff person really had one of the uh, sharpest minds I'd ever met. He likes to shock people because that is a great way to teach. A lot of times if you're not shocked, you, don't, you won't remember it. And uh, you know, I look at it as there is definitely a method to his quote unquote, and I use those quotes in bold, madness. Remember when I, I couldn't sit still, right? I kept on moving my head side to side, right? And then he went in the other room and he told me that he just peed in a glass. So, and then he put it on top of my head and he's like, now you'll sit still. And then it turned out to be orange juice. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? You stood there shocked still I, for I, five I minutes. Didn't, I didn't move at all. It's fascinating. 14 years ago, people laughed when he would get up and say things. Today, everybody looks and they know 
that he's developed up to 10 All-American athletes, swimmers, tennis players, basketball players. When I first started working out with him, I had no ranking in skating. I started to speak with Radimir and I realized that he had a very different philosophy. I would just practice my solo on the floor with my sneakers. I thought, I can only jump on the ice with my skates on. And he told me, no, you can do anything you want, even off the ice. In the first year, I was already fourth in my state and I was blown away by this. The first lesson I learned with Radomir was not to judge a book by its cover, because that's exactly what people do when they see him, is think that he's this really sick, horrible man, you know? And he makes these kids like run and work their butts off, but it's not, it's not about being like that, you know? He teaches you that everything in life is hard and you gotta work hard to achieve it. I think that's the main thing he, ta he taught me, you know? One day I was working out, uh, doing some clean and jerks, and my friend came into the gymnasium and he yelled, my eye, he yelled my name and my eyes turned just a little bit. The second my eyes turned, I felt a two by four hit me in the back. He said, you stay to your job, you do your job. And uh, at that point in my life, I probably needed someone that scary and that uh, imposing to help me focus and help me learn uh, about these ideas such as dedication, focus, concentration. We are born as a winners out of billions and billions of, of sperms which are competing to be born night after night. We made it. I was born as a Bosnian, Bosnian Serb, and uh, at the age of eight, we moved uh, to Belgrade and I was always looking for something uh, where I can expose myself. And of course, sports was the best arena for that. At age of 14, I tried to wrestle. I started wrestling. I became a national champion in wrestling. And uh, one day after the workout, I was passing by the judo school. And there I saw a uh, small Japanese who was throwing everybody like we throw paper uh, airplanes. Immediately I fall in love 